Hi guys. It's currently 326 on a Tuesday afternoon. And it's dull as shit outside. Look at that. Had a bit of a drizzle or spot or two of rain earlier, but that's about it. Anywho, I was gonna go to catch custom trikes today, but I've given that a miss. Weather permitting. I'm going to go tomorrow. I've already promised, and I don't like breaking promises, so... I've kind of locked myself into that. <laughs> Deliberately, actually, because I know I don't break promises. <clears throat> um, I was going to go today, but... I actually had my cousin contact me. Because um, I bought a bike last night. Uh, I put a picture of it up on Facebook, as you do, and uh, or as I do anyway. <clears throat> and um, my cousin replied saying his son's got one identical that he wants to sell as well. So I got chatting with him, and originally I was going to go and buy it this weekend because he only lives in Norwich, so I could have picked it up when I went over to Mum's on Sunday because. She's only up the road from Norwich, quite literally. She's only a few miles, so... <clears throat> but, my cousin then contacted me again this morning, saying his laptop had died. <clears throat> so what he's done, he basically bought the bike off his son for the 30 quid he wanted, and I only wanted 30, 35 quid for this laptop anyway, so I then swapped it with my cousin. <laughs> so, now... I currently have twins in my possession. This one rust-wise on the chrome is worse, but it can clean up. And the little sprocket, the freewheel sprocket on that wheel doesn't freewheel, it's totally seized. But again, not a serious issue. But the tyres have held out, I've pumped them up, and so far they're holding air. This one is pretty much rideable. Again, mudguard, look at that. I might take the camera down later and just give you a proper look round them both. I actually think I will do that. This one's got the rear brake lever missing, but I've got to dismantle it all to clean it all up anyway. Um, and find some purple paint because Cat's Custom Trikes is having this one. I'm going to put a different crank on that because it's past bloody salvaging. Uh, but uh, what's basically happened is the, because this is chrome, you know, the mudguards chrome, the forks are chrome, it's rusted. It's done the stereotypical chrome thing because it's been left outside, it's rusted. <laughs> Same with that one. If you don't keep your chrome dry or at least dry it off when it's got wet, that's what happens. That's why when you go to like classic car shows and whatnot, if they get a bit of drizzle of rain, you'll see the car owners and truck owners, etc. out there with a cloth wiping down all their chrome. Otherwise it'll rust. <laughs> and of course, re-chroming parts like that really isn't worth the money. Um, I don't know if I can actually get replacement parts to actually build one, but on my one I'm going to sand all the chrome parts down and then respray them in like a silvery chrome type paint bit of a cheat but at least it'll look better because the frames on both of these are excellent it's just all the bits bolted to them <laughs> the spokes on one on the wheels on one of them are rather rusty but I'll go over them with some paint as well <clears throat> I could if Cat wanted I could um spray the wheels up completely to match the forks and whatnot. But uh, we can discuss that later. We can discuss that tomorrow actually. I don't know when I'm going to go over tomorrow. I want to leave early-ish in the morning because it's going to take me about 45 minutes to ride over there. Um, and I'm not sure which bike I'm going to take. I've got a choice of two. Uh, two Claude Butlers. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm actually leaning towards my grey one simply because the gearing is better for long distance riding. Um, whereas my blue and silver one that I've got is better for off-roading because of the gearing, you know. You stick it in first and your legs go around like hell, which makes going up hills a bit easier. <laughs> but, uh, not much else. A chopper truck. Oh, that would be interesting. She's just sent me a message saying, what about a chopper truck? Because i got these two chopper bikes. Well, if you want to make hers into a chopper, I'm so sure we could find another one up to get another chunky back wheel. I think steering might be a bit of a bitch. <laughs> um, but it'd be doable. We just have to make a custom rear end up. Obviously, custom axle and whatnot. But, because there's no gears on this, we haven't got to worry about attaching gears and whatnot, so it should be a bit easier. Oh, my one doesn't have the original seat post clamp bolt either. I've got to find one. I've got a box full up here, so that's not a problem. I could put a quick release on it, actually. I'm going to put some custom lights on mine as well. When I say custom, I'm going to use, you know, lights I've got here, but I'm going to do a custom system. I'm going to use dynamo lights, but connect them to a switch mounted on the handlebars and a little battery. That'll sit in here somewhere. This is the one that I'm going to keep. Other than that, if I can free up that freewheel on cats, they'd both be perfectly rideable. Even if... Um, hers only has the front brake. It works bloody well. <laughs> I slid off the seat earlier when I was freewheeling it down and hit the front brake. But uh, yeah, Schwinn Stingrays. Weird looking bike. And if you actually look, ordinary bikes, the pedals are always down here, so you sort of sit above your pedals, but these ones are here. They're placed forward, so you've got to quite a unique um, sitting position on these. It takes some getting used to. I went for a little cruise on mine earlier, just up and down my road here, and sometimes when you turn, it feels like to me you're going to fall straight over. So it's going to take some getting used to, but it's different. And a friend of mine actually had one of these a while ago. He sold it, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you in a bit. Alright, I'm back. Just had to go and use the bathroom. Uh, well, I've got to worry about the old ruins playing up. So, I can bike to cats tomorrow. I'm just hoping it's not going to piss it down now, because that will piss me off. I don't mind riding home in the rain, because I can just, you know, strip the clothes off and dry off. But going somewhere, and I haven't got a backpack to put a change of clothes in, so weather permitting. Um, if not, I'll have to aim for Friday, I think. But I don't think it's going to rain. I haven't heard a forecast for rain, so... We'll see. Right. One thing I did yesterday, I'm going to turn those ones on, that one off, is I tested all my, well most of them, I've tested most of my um, disk drives for laptops because I had that big bag full and I had this box full. I had no idea what worked and what didn't so I thought it's time I went through it. So this poor thing was being used as a guinea pig because most of them have pick this one up. The IDE connector, so that was the nearest one I had that was that's in working condition, so I just grabbed that one. I've got a couple of SATA ones here and I'm pretty certain they do work. And I've got these ones which have got different connections on them. Uh, this seems to have some sort of um, adapter on it, but I know these are for IBM. 
these are both identical anyway, so. And the DVD drives. And I've got IBM on. Um, I might eBay those too, because I don't actually have an IBM laptop. So, let's stick those on. I might, I'll try and find a way to test them, but all of these, you see, are all got the things on. So I've got a Windows 98 laptop behind me. That requires that sort of connector. Apart from one, there's a really weird one there. Ah, it's got a weird adapter, and I'll take that adapter off and use that one. Uh, I'm going to put the cover back. I actually got the um, DVD drive that I took out of this mixed up, and I took the cover off for some reason. I forgot that the one I laid up there was the one that came out of this, so... I've actually lost the brackets, so I'm going to go through those and try different brackets. One of them will work. I did find a DVD in one of them as well, look, on the Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. That's the feature disc. Well, I want the feature disc, I want the movie. Oh well. And that's the CD I was using just to test to see if they worked. I'm going to leave that there. I have got to go and find 18 volt or an 18 and a half volt power adapter. I've got one lurking somewhere. Thought I kept one in here, but I keep moving them and putting things away, so I have to go and look for one. There's either going to be one in my bag or one in the drawer through there. I've got to carry a bag of adapters as well. Oh. Well, this one's got OK tested written on it, so. I'm not going to bother with that one, I'm just going to presume that one does work. So that can actually, I'm going to put that straight in here. I think I have got one in here as well. That came off of a working compact that I kept as a spare. Right, so it's just that one adapter and a power adapter to go find. How can I... I'm reading a comment on here. Apparently a lot of doctors only do two or three days a week work. Um, and apparently they are possibly, and there's a key word there, possibly, going to get the chance to do more private work. But my worry there is, if it's hard enough for... NHS patients like myself to get a bloody appointment to see a doctor because it can take two weeks to a month in this town and a lot of other places how are these doctors going to do private as well? Um, but this is on a thread because uh, apparently they want to build even more houses in this town and people have raised valid points you know we don't have the road infrastructure it's struggling as it is and the main roads around town are frequently bottlenecked because of traffic I remember 20 years ago when I was in high school you barely see any traffic during the day then it got to rush hour and then it would all go quiet again but nowadays it's Almost like living in a city, there's just traffic all day long until late at night, you know, when it all dies down and everywhere closes. But, uh, they're also worried with all these new houses being built, with the doctors struggling as it is, schools are rapidly becoming full. They're not full yet, but they are rapidly becoming full. What are they going to do about that? And, uh, which are valid points, obviously. Um, but a lot of people are moaning because the town council don't do this, they don't do that. I'm not on the town council. 
I don't know that much about them, but I do know that our town council have very limited powers. I think a lot of people think because they've got that name council, you know, they've got just as much power as those right at the top. In our case, North Norfolk District Council is above our town council. And the NNDC obviously have various department, departments, rather, they have the highways department, the planning department, etc. So, even if our town council, I don't know if they actually go to the meetings or if they, you know, send in a written statement on whether they're for a building application or against, if they're against, you know, all the reasons why they'd have to put in. But that's about as much as a town council can do. At the end of the day, it's still down to the decision of North Norfolk District Council's planning department on what gets built around this town. Some people just can't seem to grasp that. The town council can only do so much. It's the same with the roads. That's the responsibility of the highways department. And we have said many times that one of the roads in town needs extreme improvement, preferably before someone is killed. But as far as the highways department is concerned, there's no problem. So, again, that's not the town cut, but everyone just seems to... Even I've done it. When I've read something that's angered me, I've put the blame in the wrong place, and I try my best not to. But, uh, that's, that's the other thing as well. I don't think people realise... Uh, with these planning applications you can see them on the um, council's website North Norfolk District Council put all the planning apps up there and um, you should on the site or in close proximity of any planning should be a yellow planning notice somewhere that tells you you can go to the meetings and object or you can object in a written letter or object on the website or say you're for it and whatnot and give your reasons and obviously I presume the planners will read through everything and make their decision based on the information they've got and whether they agree with those against it or And, uh, I got distracted there, but I'm going to reply to this in a minute. Um, right. I do need to go and lock my bike up in a minute, so I'll take this down with me and I'll give you a walk around the two bikes. Right. Going back to this town council debacle or debate that's going on on Facebook, there's still people saying, you know, that the town council should do should do more, should, you know, stand their ground more, blah, 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 blah. Um, especially with these planning applications, because a lot of people, as I've said, don't want any more houses built around this area because our current infrastructure is struggling as it is, which is a fair point. But I don't think people realise that you can actually go I don't know what it's like for other councils around the UK, but at least for North Norfolk District Council, I can go to their website right now. I can find every live planning application they have. And by that I mean planning apps that are due to be discussed and ones that are currently being discussed. And you actually get an option. You get an option to leave 
your comments, your views and your opinions on that application. And it also says you can send in a letter via snail mail if you wanted. You can email them to give your views and your opinions on any of their applications on their website. And I don't think enough people do that. I have done it once because of a planning application on the other side of town. Because of the road network there. There's no footpaths and it's a busy main road with cars doing 30-40 mile an hour up and down it. And there's families and whatnot that walk up and down that road. It's a scary road and it's not very wide for heavy goods vehicles and whatnot either. <laughs> so that's why the main reason I was against that. I didn't it's not that I didn't want well like everyone has said but it's not that they don't want extra houses built in this town, that we don't want the town to grow. We just want the infrastructure to grow with it. And it's the same everywhere, that is building and building and building and building these friggin' houses and not thinking of the infrastructure until it's sort of, you know, bursting at the seams. But my point is, and I made this point, we as a community should make all our voices heard. We should all go because we're using the internet to comment on this bloody thread, for God's sake. So it shouldn't be rocket science to take a few minutes out in the evenings, you know. Obviously it's tea time now, so I wouldn't expect anyone to do it now. But when you're in the evenings, it's quiet. Just zip across to the North Norfolk District Council website and put your views in. I do believe there's a little thing that you can actually select for or against. And then just pretty much leave a comment giving your reasons why. And I just think we would have more clout as a community if we all voiced our opinions rather than just relying on our town council. Because our town council is only about a dozen people, you know. That's only about a dozen voices compared, I think we've got like two, three thousand population in this town. What are the town, or what is North Norfolk District Council more likely to listen to? A dozen on the town council, or a couple of thousand, <laughs> plus the dozen on the town council. You see my point? We would have more clout as a community. <clears throat> That's actually why I think a lot of adults should actually watch My Little Pony. Because it teaches that, it teaches working as a team and working together. Actually, mind you, there's a lot of cartoons out there that teach that. But it just seems, you know, when you become an adult, that just straight out the window. We don't do that. We make things as hard as possible. Anyway, <laughs> anyway that's just my two cents. I'm not going to talk any more on that. But uh, I will go down and sort the bikes out. And I'll be taking you with me. I will get downstairs at some point, honest. I'm actually just waiting a little bit until... Uh, um, it's a bit quieter, but up here somewhere, look at this. I've got all these baby spiders in here. There's one. And I'll just put my arm on a cobweb. All these baby spiders, and I have no freaking idea where they've come from. I don't see nothing out here. But uh, if I come in, there's at least two on here. So there's one. If it's going to focus. There's another one just around the side, though. There is a harvest spider under here. So I don't know if there was a nest down there that's hatched. Uh, nope. There is two in this corner. I haven't seen any more lurking. What 
I can see. I don't think there's anything up there. Is that one? No, it's just a bit dirt. Hmm, weird. Because I literally came in here early and I just walked straight into a bunch of cobwebs. <laughs> I can't see none out here. I can see a fly. Here's Mr. Fly. He just flew off. But, uh, no, not seen any over here. No idea where that's come from. Alright, I'll talk to you in a bit. Last segment, I've just been looking on eBay and someone who I do see put barricade lights up occasionally has got two up at the minute. But this one caught my attention, not because I want it, because I don't, and I particularly don't want it at that price, plus shipping. Which is actually a lie because it's three pounds, so it's actually almost two pounds more than what it would actually cost to post it. But if you Google Dorman Uni Lamp, you come to a supplier called Parker. Look at the price for a brand new one. Eight thirty-five, brand new. And. Uh, they want $9.99, buy it now. I don't think so. I don't... Oh, and you can actually buy just the one as well. This website actually lets you buy just one. You can um, type in your quantity. So, given the choice... I'd go to this reputable seller. You've seen it on my Tildon lights, the name Parker, so the supplier Parker still exists. I'm actually going to see if I can find another website. Let's have a look on the Unipart Dorman themselves and see what they sell them at. You know. Oh, no, that's Manchester Safety. <laughs> What's Manchester? Manchester Safety's got them at 5 95 Seven pounds fourteen, including the VAT, which is still far cheaper. N um, and again, quantity one it starts at. So, will they sell the Eco Light as well? Ha! Here's the Unipart website. Yeah. It's just basically advertising their lamps. <laughs> um, no prices, it's just advertising. These are the lamps you can get. Oh, it's an old PDF, that's why. Madfortools.com Nine sixty six for a brand new one, it's still... About 44p cheap, no. 34p cheaper. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm sure if they actually were a proper collector, they would know these prices. And there's so many other lights I see. In fact, I'm looking at one right now. <laughs> A traffic light. Hmm. 
got six of them available. But I've already got four. <laughs> and I want another one. <laughs> they look in good condition as well, look at that. They're cheap for 15 quid. Just trying to see if it said if it was flashing or had any. No, it just talks about how robust it is. Well, that's not really good. Does it flash? Does it catch fire, you know? Bleeding giraffe, buddy. No. Pardon me. I think I'm just in a nitpicky mood tonight as well because I'm not feeling a hundred percent. I've got a sore rear rear end again. I'm meant to go to cats tomorrow. And with a sore rear end, I'm not sure that's going to friggin' happen though. So that's pissed me right off. I don't know how many times. You know, I've organised to go over there and then something just bloody happens to ruin it. So, I'm very ticked off about that. friend of mine who follows my YouTube as well, I've got him on Facebook, he just said he got a free high-vis coat like the one I wear on my bike. He said it's so warm. I'll just put back, that's why I wear them. They are so warm in the winter. Drivers still can't see you though, apparently. He sent me several messages, and that's the only one that squeaked. I've no idea why Facebook does that, but it's annoying at times. Yeah, it would be a bit. That's why I don't wear it in summer. I've been wearing it lately. Fuck, I still haven't bought that bike up yet, have I? I think I might just go down and lock it up. I don't feel like dragging that up the stairs. If I remember to put them on the end, not in the middle, there will be a couple of video footage of the birds' nests I've got either side of my flat. And I'm pretty certain the one this side at the back is a starling's nest. But uh, she seemed quite jittery, I couldn't... Even though I actually stood up the other end of the block, which is why I had to zoom in so far, she still flew off. She didn't, well, she didn't even see my hang around the nest that long, she sort of comes back, drop the food, drop the food off and, you know, feed the babies and gone again. Do -do 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 -do. Right, my battery's getting low. I'm getting distracted, I am. So, uh... 
left my bloody cola out, so that's got the room temperature now, hasn't it? <sighs> I'm just bored, so I've just been scrolling through my Facebook, not Facebook, eBay page. Not found anything. Can't buy anything anyway, not unless that bloody PC sells. Anywho, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.